everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use Colourper Vertex to create colour variations uh, on your objects, um, on your mash objects, and then how to get that to render in Mental Ray. So um, I have a scene here with a load of um, clumps of uh, grass in it, spheres of grass, um, for reasons known to no one, and I'm just going to use uh, Colourper Vertex to assign some random crazy colours to each of these different clumps, and then we'll, like I say, render it in Mental Ray. So there are two steps to this. First of all, uh, we need to get Colourper Vertex working in MASH, and then the second step is getting Colourper Vertex working in Mental Ray. So let's get it working in MASH first. So the first step to um, in that is uh, just turning on the colour node. So the second step is um, going to the MASH Repro node and then turning on Colourper Vertex. The reason this is off by default is because it's slightly slower to have this uh, turned on and then the third step is to select the mesh and then go mesh display and then uh, the attribute that you uh, the menu or item that you want is called uh, toggle display colors attribute and then just turn that on so as you may have noticed uh, no color per vertex is being shown in the viewport and that's because if I show you the material here this is a me um, material X which is um, a mental ray material. So um, Colour Pervertix will only show up when you have one of the standard Maya shaders assigned to your um, MASH network. So uh, you can do that. I'm just going to go and choose the, um, uh, the standard Lambert, the default Lambert that appears um, when you start a new Maya scene. So um, with that done, our Colour Pervertix has shown up. So we can go back to the colour node. I'm going to choose a base of red and then what we can do is we can um, just start adjusting. So you can have, um, you can just create some very subtle color variations if you want to, um, or you can go absolutely mental and yeah, create something totally mad. Um, and you've got uh, complete control over how um, of the saturation randomness and then the uh, color value, value randomness as well. So that's how bright the objects are. And yeah, so nice and simple to do, nice and easy. So with that done, now let's get this working in, uh, let's get this, um, uh, rendering in a mental ray. So I think the first thing I need to do is switch my renderer to mental ray. So I'm just doing this on a separate monitor. Um, okay, so let's go open the node editor. You could do this in the hypershade as well. It's just the node editor is a smaller interface, so I prefer it. Um, and I'm just going to right click on the node editor and uh, choose graph ma uh, materials on viewport selection because I have the mash network selected. So I have that default Lambert. Actually, I want the um, me material X. I'm going to show you how to do that with that. So let's just choose the um, mentor material and then do the same thing, graph materials. So um, I'm just going to turn off reflectivity. Don't want any reflectivity. So I've got this dark green color here, and um, what I, instead we want instead of this color, we want the color per vertex. So how you do this mental ray is pretty easy, but it does need to be done in Node Editor. The first thing you do is uh, um, is add is hit the tab key uh, and then start typing mental ray. And it's a vertex color shape, vertex colors node. So just add that. And then you need the mash repro mesh. So let's just middle mouse drag that into the node editor. And then we can um, just uh, move things so it's better organized. And then I'm going to right click show all attributes on the repro mesh, which is just going to make my think because there are an awful lot of attributes because I have Arnold installed, <laughs> which creates lots of attributes. So I'm going to uh, type uh, color sets in here. And wait patiently. And then I'm going to roll out color set and then roll out color set zero. And then I'm going to do show all attributes on the mental ray node here. And I'm going to roll out CPV sets. And then all I need to do is drag color name to CPV set zero. So that to that, and then you're done. And then what you can do is with the material selected, you can middle mouse drag the mental ray colors node onto whatever slot you want. So I want it on the color node. So it's going in there. And um, mental ray doesn't display color per vertex in the viewport, but if you hit the renderer, then our color per vertex should da -da 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 appear. And there you have it, uh, color per vertex rendering in mental ray. So I hope you found that useful.